who is responsible to pay for that crumbling foundations issue here in Connecticut? A Judiciary Committee bill today uh, voted on would make the insurance companies and policyholders more responsible. News A's George Colley, Line Force in Hartford tonight with the latest on that. George. Well, good evening, Darren. The Judiciary Committee vote on that crumbling foundations bill remains open at this time after several members passed and were not present to vote in the original roll call. Now, Senate Bill 518 would do several things, including changing the homeowner's policy language regarding the peril of collapse. It also extends the statute of limitation for peril of collapse issues and places a $20 fee on all homeowners and condo policies. It's a legislative battle that's being fought more along geographic lines than party lines. This bill is an effort to um, move um, this process forward, try to bring everyone to the table and try to assist these people, which, yes, it does impact the specific homeowners, but I would argue it impacts the state as a whole. Essentially what we're doing is asking every homeowner in the state who has a homeowner's insurance policy to pay uh, for claims uh, that were never covered by insurance, and uh, we're asking them to do that even though... Um, they don't have the problem themselves. I, I just, I, we need a solution. I don't know that this is it, folks in Eastern. Now the vote is being kept open at least until 5.30 with the co-chairman saying that it could go on longer than that. At this point, there are votes that are switching and it's too close to call. In Hartford, George Colley, News 8.